Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rosavi, and today I want to talk about Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, the manga. I absolutely love this manga, I am a huge fan of this manga. The anime is even better, which doesn't happen quite often, most of the time it's always the manga that tends to be better. But in this case the anime is even better, but before we start, I know people are going to ask, what app is this? I know people want to know. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment and also in the description in which you can simply click on it. It'll take you to a YouTube video in which I explain what app this is. By the way, this app is 100% legal, so don't worry, you're not doing anything wrong. Last time we talked about Shinriake Ikamusume, or simply in English, Squid Girl. I absolutely love this manga too, for real. It, I have very good memories from this manga. Uh, so check that video out as well. I'll leave a link to this video in the pinned comment and I'll link it at the top right of your screen right now. Anyway, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Let's take a look. Now, as you can see, the art style is something you need to get used to. Uh, when I first started reading this, I really had to get used to the art style. I didn't hate it, um, but it's not incredibly pretty. I think we can all agree on that. It's uh, it's very different from what we tend to be used to when it comes to manga. Uh, is that a bad thing? No, not really. Um, basically, uh, the story and uh, the premise of the story is quite simple. You see here a woman and a dragon, and that is basically the premise of the story because um, this woman with the glasses she encounters a dragon in the woods and this dragon uh she helps out this dragon which this is her by the way this is the dragon i'll explain later how that works um and basically she helps her out i won't spoil how or, or with what but she helps her out and now uh, she feels kind of in debt towards um this woman with the glasses by the way the woman with the glasses is called kobayashi um so kobayashi now has this dragon that kind of loves her and that wants to help her and uh, she moves in with Kobayashi. And um, basically this manga is a slice of life. So sure, there, there are plot twists and there are definitely parts where there's drama and, 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 and political, even political intrigue and stuff. So there is more to it than just some stupid um, slice of life story. Even though I don't think slice of life is stupid, but that's a whole different story. Um, but yeah, there's more to it. But in the end... It is definitely slice of life, and it's it's very fun. Basically, um, it's just a relationship between um, this dragon girl and Kobayashi, and eventually more characters are introduced. Um, I won't spoil which characters or, or what, but um, these characters definitely add to the story. And um, basically, just like with any slice of life, if it wasn't for the characters um, who were well written the story would suck and it and the characters are really well written it's such an awesome story it's very funny it's a very funny story uh something that i do need to mention especially for my younger viewers um there are some chapters which have a lot of adult theming um even uh going as far as like showing uh you know things that are not suited for a young audience not, not just language but like actual visuals um, the anime doesn't do this, but the manga does. So um, keep that in mind when reading this manga. There are definitely some parts which are definitely for adults only, which you might it might not look like a bit for real. There, there are. Uh, so keep that in mind. But is this story worth it? One hundred percent. It's so much fun. It's a very very funny manga, uh, and some some parts like really got me to tear up. It's it's. The drama parts of this are also great. You won't encounter that in the first volume, of course. But once you're invested into this story and characters start to struggle with things, it's so good. Really, it's freaking awesome. Um, something about Toru, the dragon that lives with Kobayashi, is that Toru is very jealous uh, of, of everyone who is who, who has contact with Kobayashi because she wants to claim Kobayashi for herself. For example, this guy right here, he is a colleague of Kobayashi. He's not interested interested in Kobayashi romantically, but they hang out a lot. And um, Tore hates this guy with a passion because, you know, he, he, he might take Kobayashi away from her. It's very funny. Um, but, so just just check that. Check out this manga. It's so worth it. It's so much fun. Um, I could gush about this manga for hours, but I shouldn't. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, the only thing that I wanted to say here, here, this is one of the panels, what I mean. This is one of the panels. I think I need to blur this. This is a, a editor, Razovi, blur this. Um, anyway, um, what I wanted to say is that also Kobayashi is a, um, is a otaku specifically for maids. That's also the reason why in this case, Toru, the dragon, is dressed like a maid. Kobayashi is crazy about uh, maids and stuff. So that's also why, in this case, 
she uh, is dressed like a maid. That explains that whole thing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this video was fun and useful to you. If it was, make sure to click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. I was Razavi, and you were you. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.